Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Geoffroy. I'm uh, the technical marketing manager here at Gigabyte. Uh, welcome to our one-on-one -on -one suite. Uh, right now, actually, what I, what I want to introduce to you is our 100 series motherboard with uh, this one over here, the Z Z170X Gaming G1. So I'm going to go on and give you a quick introduction actually about all the features that's, uh, that's actually uh, on this motherboard. Uh, so this board is based for the uh, next generation uh, CPU from Intel, so the sixth generation CPU from Intel. Uh, it's, it, has, it features actually a 20 phase power delivery design. And uh, as you can see, a very cool actually, new heatsink uh, look as well. So we, for the gaming series, we're still em em emphasis on the uh, black and red. And actually now we have also a white look to it to actually bring the, the, the red out even more and match better also the, uh, the, the, the user preferences for uh, case modding. So you have more, more, more options to uh, match colors. White is always a good option for, the, uh, for these guys. Uh, as you can see, the heatsink actually has two holes over here on the top. So this is for uh, water cooling, so water cooling ready. Uh, it supports DDR4 memory. Uh, as you can see over here, we have a quick power button. So actually, if you want to uh, test your motherboard before actually putting it in the chassis, so make sure that it's working well and not having to take it out and then you know trying to figure out everything. So actually this is can be very handy. It comes also very handy when it comes to overclocking. So you don't have to have actually the, uh, the I.O. connected, uh, the, the front panel I.O. connected at the beginning. Uh, we have a few overclocking buttons over here. So quick overclocking and also an eco, eco mode, which is going to downclock your board. And uh, a few features over here that uh, come from our motherboard, uh, overclocking series motherboard. Uh, as we move down over here, we have you can see the uh, turbo B clock. This is uh, also to help with overclocking. Sometimes reaching out certain frequencies is a bit difficult because you have to change traps, and the math is uh, is not always working out very well. So this is providing a linear overclocking experience. Uh, moving again down, we have uh, M.2 support. So uh, this is actually 32 gigabit per second transfer speed over M.2. So PCIe Gen 3 times 4. As you can see, the uh, PCIe lanes are looking a little bit different. What we have over, the, over here is actually a metal shielding over them to provide more stability for the uh, slot itself. So when you have the heavy card on it, uh, it provides more. Uh, it's, it provides a more sturdy connection. So if you have actually to pull it out, or it, sometimes yeah, it can be it can create issues. So it, uh, you, you're sure that you're, uh, you have ultra durable design over here uh, with this. Uh, as we keep on going, actually, something that we've been doing for a long time with uh, the Ultra Durable series, and actually our, our whole uh, series of motherboards uh, bring the Ultra Durable uh, features, which means uh, gold plating over the uh, CPU socket, uh, also a dual BIOS. Uh, so if you have a problem with one BIOS, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall back to the second one, and then you have no time to uh, fix your issues. Uh, some other features actually from the Ultra Durable, uh, we have a two ounce uh, copper PCB, so more trace path, uh, more copper for the trace path, so better signal overall together. Uh, and also uh, plenty of fan connector support for uh, cooling down your, uh, your motherboard. So if you need to have actually extra uh, connector for like water cooling or even a second fan, then you have the connector on board. So just more, more features to keep you for your, your motherboard safe. And obviously, again, uh, long-lasting uh, capacitors. Uh, all right, moving towards the uh, the gaming side. Actually, our big focus is uh, audio. So we understand that for the gamers, the audio is very important. Uh, we want them to have the best experience around. So actually, what we've done here, actually, on the uh, G1 gaming, this is a higher end. You'll find the uh, Suncore 3D uh, audio processor. This is a four-core audio processor. And basically, uh, we took the component from the add-on audio card and bring it down to the motherboard. So the guys don't have to invest into actually an add-on card to have the high-end audio. They can have that directly on the motherboard itself. So very high-end audio. And also another feature that we are, we're uh, providing for the guys to have uh, better audio is the upgradable uh, OPM. So as you can see over here, we have three of them. So two of them are for the uh, front, uh, the, 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 the back, audio uh, channel over here, so the front, uh, the, the right and left channel, and we also have a uh, third OPM for the, uh, the front audio, uh, frontal audio report. Uh, all our audio components are on a separate uh, section on the PCB, so I don't know if you can see actually the yellow line over here, 
Uh, this is uh, lit up by uh, LEDs, so actually it can be customized into seven different colors. Uh, but it's actually a physical uh, separation in the PCB layer so that all your uh, audio components are not affected by any of the signals on the uh, motherboard side. Uh, moving on to the uh, I.O., you'll see at the end we have, uh, so that was, like I was mentioning, the gold plating. So this is you know, for wear and tear, better signal overall. Uh, you plug in, plug out, make sure that your, your connection is going to stay good for a long time. Uh, you'll see a dual uh, killer, uh, dual killer uh, networking solution, uh, as well as you know, USB 3.0, uh, plenty of them. Uh, you can see over here actually uh, the one that you might not be too familiar with is the uh, USB uh, Type C. Uh, our solution actually with Gigabyte uh, is based under the uh, Intel uh, USB 3.1 controller. So uh, depending on which platform, it might be configure configured to support uh, Thunderbolt 3, uh, USB 3.1, DisplayPort, or uh, all three actually. So you have to go and see actually each, each model is going to be different. But over here actually we have the Type-C and the Type-A connector, uh, which both support USB 3.1 transfer speed. And actually a uh, Gigabyte exclusive feature with the uh, Intel controller, you're able to connect uh, two systems over, USB uh, over, over the USB Type-C and do peer-to-peer -peer transfer with up to actually 10 gigabit uh, per second transfer speed. So uh, if you're transferring movie from one computer to another or no, any big files just happens in a flash. Uh, coming from the X99 series, actually, we have the uh, QFlash Plus. This is uh, for you to be able to upgrade your BIOS uh, without even the CPU, without, uh, yeah, without having the CPU actually on the system. So if you don't have CPU, you plug in your USB key that's ready for uh, flashing the BIOS into this port. Chip is going to re recognize that there's a new BIOS that's uh, more recent than the one on board and it's going to start the flashing process. Then you'll be able to have support for the, your, your latest CPU. So that's a very good feature on this side. Uh, US, uh, HDMI port, and uh, as you can see over here, uh, the yellow ones are uh, DAC ups, uh, USB 2.0. So we're going to be launching this uh, new series on motherboard at the same time than the uh, new Intel CPU. And uh, so stay tuned and uh, we're going to have a whole series of new motherboards for you guys.